Well, now to breaking news this morning out of Iran. The president of Iran has died in a helicopter crash. He, along with the Iranian Minister of Foreign Affairs and others on board, were also killed in the crash. ABC's Andrew Dimbert has the latest. This morning, Iran's president and several other leaders have been found dead at this helicopter crash site. President Ibrahim Raisi, Iran's foreign minister, and seven others were aboard the aircraft. Drone video shows the site on a steep wooded hillside, little of the aircraft remaining beyond its blue and white tail. Raisi, seen here in the helicopter on Sunday, traveling to the Iranian border with Azerbaijan for an event. Heavy fog blanketed the area of northwest Iran, making it difficult for search and rescue teams to locate the aircraft. After a more than 12-hour search, drones provided by Turkey using thermal cameras pinpointed the crash site. Overnight Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer saying there was no evidence of foul play. It looks like an accident. There was very bad foggy weather in northwest Iran where the copter crashed. Elected in 2021, President Raisi was a hardliner and the second most powerful figure in Iran. He was seen as a top contender for replacing Ayatollah Khomeini, who vows after the crash there will be no disruption to state affairs. But just weeks after Iran and Israel launched unprecedented strikes on each other, experts are questioning how a transition of power in Iran could affect a region already in turmoil. Nuclear issue is part of them. Their regional um, peace and conditions are part of them. These are all going to be political, politically relevant issues um, in, in the years to come. Andrew Dimbert, ABC News, New York. President Biden has been briefed on the incident, and we will have more information as it becomes available.